Welcome back to the Quest for Nine Report. I'm Connor Hines. Well, the Indiana Hoosiers picked up postseason victory number one today in Bloomington, a 2-0 defeat of the Ohio State Buckeyes to send Indiana forward in this year's Big Ten Tournament. Indiana getting goals from the freshman Josh Penn at the end of the first half, as well as A.J. Palazzolo at the end of the second half. This was a chippy physical game that Todd Yeagley really didn't expect it to play out that way, but in the end, Indiana is moving on, and the Hoosiers are going yet again back to College Park for this year's Big Ten semifinals. You know, we have a title on the line just as much as their season's on the line. I mean, we know there's another game for us. We've earned that. But I told the guys, you want to stay at home and watch the semifinals on TV, if you, it's not a good feeling. Um, you want to be, you want to be in action. You want to be where the, you want to be where the trophy is, and we need to get a result today. I think it's the physicality. I think since we have such a young team, not many people have been through the postseason and realized that, yeah, we beat them five-one. But you look at the team we played today, and you wouldn't see that. That they're a gritty team. Everyone's going to fight. That this is some team's season, so we're going for a title. But every team's going to battle like it's their last game. Our spotlight player after today's quarterfinal win is the redshirt junior Spencer Glass, who set up A.J. Palazzolo incredibly well on that toe-tapping goal at the end of regulation today. And Todd Yeagley said he was really impressed with the way Spencer Glass responded, said his defense was solid all day long, but he was a little sluggish offensively to begin, was really impressed with how Glass continued to grow into this game today. And Spencer Glass is going to be absolutely imperative to just about everything Indiana does during the rest of this postseason. There's been other games this year in the past where that early part of his, his attacking phase is such an important part of his uh, his psyche. No one in the field at all makes that promise except Spencer. And um, so he should feel very good about that. Now bringing in our very own Sam Niederman for today's Analyst Corner. Sam, a really solid victory for Indiana all the way around. And, you know, despite all the youth on this team, Indiana is just continuing to almost reinvent themselves and find new ways to win. They, they do that again today with, with a solid win over the Buckeyes. Yeah, Connor, they got the job done today. They had to take care of business at home, and they did like they normally do. It wasn't like last year with what we saw against Northwestern. Remember that? We called that game on the radio, and Matt Motterwell came flying <laughs> in in like the 87th minute with a huge goal to send it into overtime. Not the same story today. Very impressed with Indiana's defense. Brett Beebe came off the bench and was really good in the holding midfield late. And then we also saw Jordan Klein slide into the right back position to replace Simon Waver, who's been a little tight with an injury over the last couple of days. He did a great job when he had to answer the bell, and that back line was very organized. Ohio State never had a look at goal. Looking forward, Maryland goes on the road to Evanston, gets a 1-0 win over Northwestern, so the Terrapins will be Indiana's semifinal matchup this Friday back in College Park. I mean, general thoughts and expectations. We, we know what happened last time Indiana was in College Park, a, a brutal 3-0 defeat there. Uh, the, the Hoosiers are going back for more. This is the one we've been waiting for, right? It's kind of the arc of the season, Indiana going up against the opponent that derailed their season last year in the College Cup, and they get a chance to get revenge after the 3-0 loss earlier this regular season in the same field where they lost. I think it's going to be a tremendous match. You know Todd Yeagley is going to have his guys ready to adjust. That first meeting wasn't exactly the worst effort in the world from Indiana. They just had a couple of bad bounces go against them. I think they play a little more tighter at the back. There were a couple of younger areas of the team that were exposed mm -hmm. defensively that night. And I think you see that this team has more firepower. In the end, Maryland, much more of a counterattacking side. Indiana can control the ball, and they just need to finish in that final third come later in the week in College Park. Well, we are certainly looking forward to it. The semifinals are set. Indiana and Maryland, Friday afternoon in College Park. The Hoosier Network will be there. For Sam, I'm Connor. We'll talk to you guys later this week.